Hey everybody, it's me again. Today I'm going to explain while loops in PHP. With the while loop, you can do some code infinitely while some condition remains true. It's very similar to a for loop, but with the for loop, we intend to do some code a limited amount of times. With the while loop, it may be infinite. There's a lot of overlap where you can use either a for loop or a while loop. Here's how to create one. Type while, parentheses, curly braces. Within the parentheses, we can set a condition. Let's say we have a counter variable. We will count up to 10. Keep doing this code while counter is less than or equal to 10. Another difference between a for loop and a while loop is that with the while loop, we don't have three statements. We just have one. With the for loop, you can create an index, a condition, and there's another statement to increment or decrement. We don't have that with the while loop, so we'll have to set that manually. Outside of the while loop, let's say we have a counter. Counter will equal zero. While counter is less than or equal to 10, let's increment our counter by one. Counter plus plus. Then let's echo our counter variable. Then add a break. So simple enough. That should be less than 10. There. We escape the while loop when this condition is no longer true. It's very similar to a for loop. Honestly, in this situation, I would probably stick with the for loop, because you're still doing something a limited amount of times. While loops tend to be better if you need to do something possibly infinitely. Let's say we have um, a stopwatch program. We don't know when the user is going to stop the stopwatch. We would need to keep on updating our stopwatch until the user presses stop. So we could write a program like this instead. Suppose we have a variable seconds to keep track of the amount of seconds then a boolean variable named running. If our stopwatch is no longer running, if somebody hits the stop button, we will set that to be false. Our condition could be while running is equal to true. If this variable is a boolean, we can just shorten this to while running, while our stopwatch is running, update the time or something. I haven't talked about the sleep function yet, but we can make our program sleep for a given amount of seconds. So let's pretend that we wait one second. Then after waiting one second, let's increment seconds by one. Then echo the current amount of seconds. And I will add a break. I wouldn't recommend running this code. We're going to be stuck in what is known as an infinite loop. Our program has no way of stopping and it might crash your computer. You can see that the time just goes on and on forever. So let's stop that. My computer might crash. This code is gonna run forever because we have no way of escaping this loop. If you have a while loop, you'll want some way to break out of the while loop from inside of it. I'm going to create a stop button. I now have a stop button. Let's stop that before it crashes. Now to escape out of this loop, I could write some code like this. I'm going to write an if statement. I haven't discussed the is set function yet, but we can check to see if a button is clicked or not. I'm going to access our post variable. And I have created a stop button with the name of stop. If I click the stop button, then let's set running to be false. Then we can escape out of the while loop. Else, if the user doesn't press the stop button, then let's wait another second and update our timer. So this program is going to continue until I hit the stop button. And it broke. There, it stopped. What you should remember from this is that a while loop will do some code, possibly forever, while some condition is true. You would need some way of making your condition false. In this case, I just set up a button to stop the timer. There is a lot of overlap where you can use either a for loop or a while loop. If you need to do something a limited amount of times, use a for loop. If you need to do something a possibly infinite amount of times, a while loop might be better. And well everybody, those are while loops in PHP.